what's up what's up how you doing um, I'm just doing a quick small review on this movie the Disney Channel movie original Disney Channel movie the upside down um, the upside down magic so basically it is a what seven book series and this is the first addition to the book the book series um, so I see I see a lot of people trying to um, how can I say it? They say they compare it to the Harry Potter that Disney did it to the Harry Potter, but I mean I feel like this is if you read a book, you read a book. So hopefully the book compared to the movie. So I feel like the author compared it to Harry Potter, and they just you know put it up on the big screen. That's how I that's how my mind works because. They just took the material from the book, so hopefully the book copy Harry Potter. That's what I'm going to say. Besides that, there was like five different schools in this um, adaptation of the Upside Down Magic. The lead character, her name is Nori, and the other character, if I'm hoping I'm saying this right, Raina. That's the second character that was involved in basically... Nora is the um Nora is the female that has the upside down magic. Obviously. And um and basically Rainer is the one she is the um fluxer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. So they have these five different um categories that they put these people in. And the first category is the flyers. So the flyers are the people. Let's see. House color blue. They can only go a few feet off the ground, but more practiced flyers can fly sky high and carry passengers. Flyers who well fly. And that character was played by Andre. So Andre was the upside down. The, I'm gonna put UDM. So he went to the UDM because he was flying way too high and he couldn't get down. So basically, that's why they put him in the UDM. Next category is. Next category is the flush. Flavor. I can't say it. <laughs> Next category is the fairies. Fluxus. How you supposed to say? Fuzzies. Fuzzies. So that's the fuzzies. And let's see. House color, yellow. Some can speak animal languages and they are automatically liked by animals. Fuzzies can communicate with animal kingdom. So basically that was I f who was the fluxer? Oh, so that would be the teacher, Ashley. So, and he um had the singing ability because he couldn't actually speak to animals. So he sung the animals, and that was his um way of dealing with this. Um, cause he was originally a UDM, so that was that's why they put him in that category because he didn't speak. He sung to animals, so that's who. Represent that in the UDM. Flickers. So the flickers. Fluxers. Fluxers. So basically, the fluxures was turning into a cat, which in, which is a beginning animal, and work their way up to the hard animals. Fluxures have the power to transform into any animal as will. So that was Nora, Nora character, 
and she didn't just transform into a cat, she transformed to a cat slash a dragon. And so that's why she was up in the upside down, because she could not transform just into one. And this will be her friend, Flair. Not that, that's actually the name of the, her power, and that's the name of her set of um, house that she was going into. So the um, flares, they create and manipulate uh, fire and heat. Flusters can. With the power of fire, harness harness with the power of fire. So that's basically what they do. And um, her friend Raina was the one that with that ability. And then you have the last school, the upside down. And the house of they had they had no color. And then they were the um, unconventional powers, unconventional powers thought to leave their awareness on and vulnerability to danger and evil shadow magic. So basically, the whole concept what is that these um, these upside down magic people will get hit by the um magic shadow magic so that's why they kept them in a certain group of people and they did not want them to um basically interact with nobody else because they felt like the shadow magic would make them evil and that wasn't the case um i i like i like the movie for what it for what it was um, I was a little, I was excited. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was excited about the movie. But my only criticism that I didn't like the movie is actually the, um, the professional. So the lady that was the head of the, um, students, um, over the school, she didn't help. She did not help at all at the end of the movie. And I thought that was very weak, like, you had this presence that you was bad and almighty. By the end, the underclass had to help and save everybody. Which I like I like how every class tried to help and I like that aspect, but even in her powder the the teachers tried to help them. Um in my regulation the teachers tried to help them um, any predicament that they had, so they wasn't just, you know, scary behind something, frightened. What do you do? What do you do? So I didn't like that aspect of it. But other than that, and um, from I mean, me, I actually noticed a um a character. Her name it was um Pepper, and basically Pepper is the um. Uh, She's the the one that's supposed to be um, levitating. So she would be... Let me make sure. No. 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 no, no. Flickers. Flickers. So basically, this is where her power was all basically all about was um was light on her arms, manipulate light to make things and themselves invisible. Flickers can make um other object. I mean, hold on. flickers can make an object come to them with a flick of with a flick of a hand so basically flickers so basically the pepper character she was the flicker and I noticed her because I actually this past what couple of months actually watched the last um once upon a time and she was featured on one upon a time the little girl so I, I feel like I knew her character so 
that's good to see a character come back in the 2000s, I guess. And mo most of all of these characters have a Disney Channel show on the Disney Channel. So it's good that they just take the actor from one thing and just put them into a movie. So I like that aspect of them. And then the um, another one that the character that I looked at was um, Professor, the Professor Onyx. Onyx. So basically, the um, the Flair, basically the female that talked to Flair, she was on a couple of shows too. So she, this is not her first time doing it. So yeah, so those are two two, two characters that stood out to me. Um, she was kind of mean though. She was kind of mean spirit. I didn't like that. But other than that, it was a pretty good review. Thank you for watching. And hopefully you watch, enjoy the movie.